There is a secret hidden for thousands of years. As the master of food and beverage of this place, he will reveal it to you. The world needs to know. His name is Paul Schenk. Hi, I'm Paul Schenk, and welcome to my humble little kitchen. I'm going to introduce you to the world's best kept culinary secret, Hanshik. Now we're going to make suyuk. Suyuk is braised pork loin, slow cooked, beautiful and tender. First thing I need is the pork loin. So I'm rolling up my sleeves to get into it. Come with me. Look at that. So this is sangipsal or pork belly. I'm going to simply cut this in half. You can see the grain of the meat. It's got a nice marbling of fat through it. This is now going to be cooked in a, uh, like a beautifully flavored stock. For this next step, simply have one pear. We cut it in half. Then into quarters. One apple. Same technique. One onion. We're actually only going to use half of each one. And we've got a dried pyogo mushroom. Some secret ingredients. Duenjang you can find in any good Korean grocer. As you can see, I've got some boiling water ready to go. There's one secret ingredient, and I have to get the secret ingredients. Makali. Makali is very popular rice wine. At the moment, this is one of the hottest uh, topics when it comes to beverage. It has a bit of a cidery flavor, a little bit sparkling almost, but that's our secret ingredient. We've got water boiling, ready to go. Apples, the apples just go straight in directly. So this is going to give us flavor for the stock. A little bit of a sweet flavor. Give it some fruity, a fruity essence, I guess. The mushroom, the onions, in they go. We've got the dried chilies, you can see them. Yeah, they're just, uh, again, you can buy these from a good Korean grocer. 100% they will have these because this is very useful in Korean food. And uh, they're dried, so they, they, they transport easily. Corn syrup. Just putting in a couple of spoons of corn syrup. And in goes the duenjang. The smell of duenjang is unforgettable. It's very, very strong smell. And in the beginning, it may be even a little bit, a little bit too strong. But I've uh, certainly become accustomed to it in my time in Korea. And it's a, it's a great condiment for, uh, for adding to food, mixing with food. I've also got a little bit of salt. We'll put a little bit of salt in. I've got some soy sauce, just basic soy sauce. In that goes to add a little bit of color to the stock, not too much. And a pinch of peppercorns. So that's our stock. The stock is already almost boiling. To that, I'm just going to mix that duenjang up a little bit because it's stuck there. There we go. Come on in. Come on in and have a look. You can see, see the stock there. This is ready for our suyuk or braised pork belly. Pork belly, sorry Mr. Kim. Pork belly is here, as we showed earlier, sun gipsal, it's called in Korean. We just pop that directly. You don't need to tie it or anything. It will hold its shape. It will hold its, its size. Um, we're going to pop that into the water for around 40 minutes. easiest way to tell when it's cooked is quite simply using chopsticks. We stick it into the pork. If it goes in easily, it's ready to go. It's, uh, it's quite a simple dish to make. You can make this at home. I'm sure you have all the, uh, the equipment, that's for sure. In terms of ingredients, 
Like I said, you will need to go down to your uh, local grocer. Now for the secret ingredient, or the magic ingredient, is makali. You can see it's coming out like a milky color. It gives it another depth of flavor and a certain intensity. While this is boiling, it's, it's uh, just starting to simmer now, which is nice. I'll turn it down in a minute. We're going to make a salad. It's a really traditional condiment to have with pork. So, next up, salad. Let's go. Okay, I've got my ingredients for the, my salad. I have ginger, already peeled. I've got some garlic. I've got the Korean leek, or an oversized spring onion. And this is real Korean leek. This is what's called buchu. And it has like a garlicky flavor. And um, I'm going to make a salad with this, with this ingredient. This recipe is actually Mr. Kim's mother's recipe following his lead on this one. I've got my leek. We cut the ends off. Take that away. And we'll cut it into sort of four or five centimeter lengths. Chop up some of the leek. Actually, I'll chop that. I won't slice it, I'll chop it. I'm going to finely chop some, some ginger, just slice it thinly. Garlic, I'm going to smash my garlic and then chop it up. All right, we're ready. Fish sauce. I put in the fish sauce, a few spoons, not too much. Gochugaru, the dried chili as much or as little as you like. Some sugar, not too much again. A little bit of sesame oil, just a dash of sesame oil in there. And I'll give that a mix. My magic chopsticks. I've got one on the run. This is a fantastic complement or condiment to serve with pork. So there we go. That's our buchu salad. I just need to check on my uh, suyuk. Actually, one very important thing at this stage is obviously to get the taste right. And I've got to ask the master, Mr. Kim, it's your mum's recipe. You have to tell me how this, uh, how this tastes. Give me the verdict. Very delicious. Delicious. Ah, thank you, Mr. Kim. Excellent. Mr. Kim is uh, not only a great chef, but he's also a great friend. He's taught me so much about Korean food, and I always appreciate what you do, Mr. Kim. I think it's time to give Mum a call, all right? All right. Mrs. Kim, your son's a legend. We got it right. We got the dish right. You'll be very proud. Mum said she's she's happy. She's proud of you. All right, I think my pork's pretty much ready. I'm just going to test it. Mr. Kim, if you can just change the cutting board for me. I have to take the pork out so I can show you very simply how this is done. Try and take it out carefully because it may be soft enough to break up or fall apart. Got a chopstick. Simply put the chopstick in. Come on in, Duncan, have a look. If it goes in easily, okay, it's going into the sinew parts easily. I can see that the meat is well cooked. Is it, uh, it is so tender and juicy. Okay, so the pork's cooked. I really love to cook Korean food, 100% traditional, but I also love at the same time to serve it in a really modern way. So I'm gonna show you something that's uh, quite nice. Look at the pork. Come on in, Duncan, have a look. You can see the, uh, the juice coming out. It's nice and tender, but still at the same time, it's holding its shape. I don't want to cut it too thin or too thick, just sort of in the middle. I'll cut four pieces 
of this one. You can see that. And what I'll do from there, line them up very quickly, trim them just a touch on the edge. All right, we're ready to plate the dish. This is called seojut. And what it is, it's fermented shrimps. Quite often in, in Korean food, this is used actually as a seasoning. For the pork, I'm going to line this up. Three, four. This is for my seojut. Again, the little tiny baby shrimps. You don't need too much of this, so I'm going to really try and space this out. Whenever you go to a Korean barbecue restaurant and you have pork, you will always find seojut. You can serve this a lot more rustically if you choose to. You know, you can have separate bowls of everything and just simply put it in the middle of a table for the whole family. So it's almost done. Just one final touch on the dish. We need to put a little bit of the sauce on top. Gives it a good glaze. A little bit of final flavor. Keeps it nice and juicy. There you go. We have just uncovered one of the world's best kept secrets. Suyo, or braised pork belly. and I'm going to introduce you to the world's best kept culinary secret. It's Korean food, better known as hanshik. I'm also going to introduce you to an amazing team I call the Wild Bunch. It's the butchers. Any how? Any how? Any how? How's Mr. Shin today? Fine. That is one piece of meat, Mr. Shin. So that's the Wild Bunch. Now we're going to make jeobokum. This is sliced pork that's marinated and then grilled or pan fried. I need to get it from the fridge, so let's go. All right, so we're ready to make the jeo bokum. Got a beautiful pork fillet right here, trimmed up nicely from the wild bunch. That's the, uh, the butchers. So we cut that in half. And then I'm going to slice. Okay, we've got enough there already for two or three portions. I'll come to the end. I'll keep the other one for later. You can see that, the pork there beautifully. For this, all I need is a little bit of ginger juice. This is the first step. Ginger juice and refined rice wine. There's my ginger juice refined rice wine. We're going to marinate this only for 10 minutes. It's a very quick process. Not too much. Refined rice wine. Again, I'll give that a mix. And we'll do that. Have that sitting there only for 10 minutes. It's a very quick process. The next step, we are going to make the second marination. Mr. Kim, can you change the boards, please? I've just got to go to the fridge, grab a couple of more ingredients, and then we're up to the, uh, the second marination. Perfect. I forgot my onion. One more. Onion. One more trusty ingredient. Okay, so I have Korean leek, spring onion, a little bit oversized. I've got uh, some peeled ginger, some garlic, and one onion. 
I'll start with my ginger. I just want to do really fine dice of all this. So every ingredient will be finely diced. Enough for that amount of pork. It's about three, four people. Next, just take the top off that. Spring onion or Korean leek. It's always difficult to keep smiling while I'm cutting, you know, but uh, it's okay. Garlic, take the top off the garlic and then smash it. That breaks it up, makes it easy to chop. Okay, garlic is done. Now for the onion. I'm only going to use a little bit of the onion. Okay, there we have it. Okay, we've got a new fresh mixing bowl out. Ginger. Korean leek, garlic, and the onion. Corn syrup. We put quite a bit of corn syrup in there. Honey. Put the sesame seeds in now. Gochugaru, ground dried chili. Not too much. Um, again, the gochujang, it depends how spicy you want it, but uh, you can do it like this. You know, I, uh, I went to a festival recently, and it was a gochujang festival. Far from Seoul. I went for a couple of days with a, with, a, with a group of chef friends, and all we saw for three days was chilies. Chili, chili, chili. And, you know, during this time, obviously, it was, we had a lot of fun, but I couldn't get off the toilet for a week afterwards. It was an incredible experience. I've just got the gochujang to go. This is probably the most famous ingredient in all of Korea, called gochujang. It is quite simply a fermented bean paste with chili added. You can buy this 100% guaranteed at any Korean grocer. This one, for your information, is the mild variety. Look at the rich color. You can see how that's starting to loosen up. Come on in, Duncan, have a look. You can see it's chunky, it's fresh, it's got a very nice gloss and shine, and that's thanks to the corn syrup. We're now going to mix that together with the pork. I'll mix these two together now. Look at that. You can see it's coating very nicely. It's a beautiful color. That's there. We marinate that now for half an hour. That's gonna, gonna rest for half an hour. Then we'll start cooking. In the meantime, let's prepare the lettuce. So here I have it, is the lettuce. This is a, a basic coral lettuce, and we've got the crown daisy. The crown daisy, as I mentioned earlier, is like a, well, not like a, it is a herb of Korea. I don't want to use too much for all of what I have there. I'll just use a part of that. A few pieces of lettuce. Just take off the bottom of the lettuce. All right, that's ready to go. I'll turn my fry pan on. Okay, the pork's been marinating now for 30 minutes. We're ready to go. Mr. Kim is just preparing some uh, sliced red chili, green chili, and uh, Korean leeks. You know, when you cook this, and when you, if you're making it at home, you don't have to use just pork loin. You can use whatever pork you want. You can use this marinade. In the marinade, if you don't like it spicy, why don't you try it? Try replacing the gochujang or the chili paste with some tomato ketchup. I know people wouldn't uh, think too highly of it, but I don't like the idea of changing recipes.
But look, honestly, if you really can't handle spicy food, then you should try something at least. And you need that colour. You need that colour in it. And a little bit of a little bit of tomato sauce, it won't hurt. You can see that that's frying up nicely. Mr. Kim, you've got the vegetables ready. Thank you. So you can cook this on a barbecue at home. You can cook it on a grill. You can use different cuts of pork. This is, like I always like to show, this is the real recipe. This is it. If you decide you want to change it, you can. Okay, see the nice color there. We've got caramelization happening. Beautiful. That smell is incredible. Ah, smell that. Look at the color. That is gorgeous. You cook this for friends at home, friends, family, they'll love you. If they like it spicy, they'll love you even more. That's for sure. Okay, I'm just going to add in these vegetables quickly. Give it one last, one last flash in the pan with a few, few chilies, some Korean leek. There we go. Mr. Kim, thanks to your mum once again for her amazing recipes. Now, of course, any good cook has to taste what they're making, otherwise you have no idea what you're serving. So I've got to give this a go. Mm. It's got such a sweet flavor. Spicy, full flavor. It's really yummy. I love it. So it's time to serve this dish up. Okay, so I have my lettuce ready here. I'm going to serve everything together in one dish. At the end of the day, it is what it is. It's a uh, spicy pork that's uh, pan fried or stir fried. So there we go. We've just uncovered one of the world's best kept secrets. Jayuk Bokum. Try it at home. Don't be scared. Have some fun. Serve it with friends. I'm going to put that down and show you simply how to eat it Korean style. We wrap that up. Delicious.